All right, guys, we're right in the line right here, waiting for to do these launches and the uh, Maki. Not exactly zero to 60 runs, but it does allow the customer to get a good a feel of the acceleration and acceleration as it differs between a combustion engine and electric engine. So, like I said, this is just Ford really introducing their everyday customer to a electric vehicle. Thank you very much. I'm gonna hop in here. Hello. Hello. Thank you. You mind if I record for my no, channel? Absolutely not. Thank you. So that's going to be unbridled mode, which is our most spirited drive mode that we okay. have available. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop it down to engage mode now, which is going to tame up the ride a little bit for the city streets here. One of the really cool things that the new Mustang Mach-E does is it actually will adapt and change the way that the car handles and drives based on your driving style. So if you drive okay. like me, mm -hmm. it's going to be a little bit more sporty <laughs> and responsive versus uh, grandma driving to and from the farmhouse every Sunday. What what gauge, what um, drive mode does it adapt when you're using it? Any drive Any mode? Any drive mode, okay. yeah. So okay. It, regardless of the drive mode, it's going to kind of just learn your preferences and learn where you drive and how you drive. And okay. it's going to kind of tune the car and the performance to be a bit more uh, compliant with your driving style. So. Okay. So at any point, like after you've had a car for, let's say like a year, yeah. is it always like underneath the skin in unbridled? Uh, yeah. So <laughs> it'll basically like continue to learn throughout its entire time with you mm -hmm. and you can have multiple driver settings. So there's three different settings over here okay. uh, that you could change it to. So if you share the vehicle with somebody or, you know, maybe you loan it to somebody for a while, like you can change the, uh, change the settings to have it remember your seating positions, your climate control positions, all of that stuff that you prefer and as well as your driving preferences. Okay. The sunroof is one of the really cool features. Is that electrochromatic or? Uh, no, that's going to be just uh, just the roof. So it's built in. It doesn't open or anything, but. It doesn't automatically tent or anything. That's just always at that. Yeah, so it is okay. always like that. Uh, okay. As you'll notice, it's, you know, 80 degrees out there today with the sun out. Pretty, yeah. Pretty steady there today. And you can notice it's not creating like a hot spot. Okay. It's got two layers of tint that help uh, reduce the okay. heat and the UV. So really note, you guys, you nice. can touch this, even though it is hot outside and this car has been on the road all day long. You can touch it for a brief amount of minutes, so it's not going to really, really burn you. But if you have kids, you do need to make note of that. But you can touch that. Yeah, it's nice and staying pretty cool. One of the other really cool features that the new Mustang Mach-E does have is going to be the one pedal drive mode. Okay. So I've actually only hit the brakes once on this entire trip. Okay. And that was when we left the launch pad, obviously. Okay. Uh, otherwise, as I approach this stop sign, I'm actually just going to lift off of the gas. And when I want to stop, I come off completely and it's going to bring and hold the vehicle out of stop until I touch the gas pedal again. Okay. Now, aside from just lazy driving and lazy footwork, the real nice part about this driving mode is that it's using the electric motors to stop the vehicle rather than the brake calipers, pads, and rotors. Mm -hmm. So it's actually regenerating charge while braking and help keeping our battery juice alive a bit longer. So. Okay. And then this in front of you, that's the, the watch your eyes for the adoptive cruise yep. control and things like that. that. So those are sensors there. Okay. Yeah, those are the sensors here. And then you still do have your dash here, which is nice. It gives you your battery life right. as well as, you know, any warnings right now. Is that, that, how configurable is that in front of there? Or is that kind in of In terms of like how you can change it? Yeah. No, I'm actually not sure. I haven't messed with it at all. So okay. one of our brand ambassadors may be able to answer that okay. for you. I know you can change this to a dark mode and yeah. there's some other, uh, you can change kind of the layout here mm -hmm. to your preferences. And uh, despite it being really nice and quiet in here, you can hear it's got a pretty nice sound system. Yeah. Which is nice. All right. Are you a Chicago local? No, it's my first time in Chicago, oh, actually. Really? Okay. So this is, I'm, I'm trying to do as much as I can with the show, but like I still want to go out and see stuff. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to make a second trip for sure. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. A lot to see here. I'm not yeah. a local. I'm from right. Colorado, so All I'm right. on the same boat as you. Yeah. I'm from Miami, and I'm just okay. like, oh, it's a beautiful city, though. Really yeah. beautiful. Yeah, the architecture is, if you're into yeah. that kind of stuff, very, very cool. All right, guys, I just finished my ride along in the new Mustang Mach-E, and two things really stood out for me is really that even on these city roads, number one, the car is extremely quiet, and number two, it's extremely smooth. Um... I guess two things that directly go against 
really what you would traditionally think about Mustang, but this is a new kind of Mustang. This is what Ford is putting all their marketing dollars in because like everybody else, they are chasing Tesla and they need to do everything better than Tesla as much as they can. I don't know if they're really getting better than Tesla in the creativity, like with whoopee cushions, fireplace, and video game controls inside your car, but they are beating Tesla perhaps in the um, materials, the fit and finish of the materials inside. Very well done. Um, a little bit minimal, minimalistic, um, again, like Tesla, but, but there's still more inside of there. Um, if you guys were interested in this, I'm sure Ford will be happy to take you for a drive at your local dealership because these are on dealership floors now. Um, so yeah, it's really good, a really good car. Would it get my money? Me personally? No, I will still take a Tesla because at the end of the day, it's about the infrastructure with electric cars and really Tesla as far and away has the, you know, has more infrastructure. So, um, and that's just not the only reason. I mean, I'm personally, this is personal guys, like, I don't think it should be called a Mustang. I think it should be called something else. Anything else would be better than Mustang. Now it does have Mustang styling cues on it. And Ford did a good job and tried to, you know, bring those Mustang attributes into it, uh, particularly in the front of the vehicle. But um, that's what they're betting on. Let's see if it works out for them. But um, but overall, the car is good. If you've never driven an electric car, you guys go take a drive in it. Then you constantly feel that you're um, being pulled um, and pushed. Um, it's really great. And so like they were saying, the, also the one touch, the one pedal driving is also a cool feature, but that's something you're going to have to get used to. That's not something you just get in the car and do. So uh, that's it, guys. I'll talk to you later.